Several years ago, I released a physics quiz called Brainbox 360 Physics Edition. It was on the Microsoft Xbox Indie Games channel. Perhaps some of you are old enough to remember that that was once a thing. And it got a write-up in uh, Physics World at the time. Not this edition, but around about 2010. And they did like it, but the obvious limitation of it only being playable on an Xbox and with a maximum of four players gave it massive limitations for use in the classroom. Nothing really happened with the project for a couple of years until I started using Quizdom, who do lots of educational technology, uh, one of which is classroom interaction, student response system. And I was using one of these just in a normal classroom context, setting PowerPoint questions and getting responses back from students and looking for problems where certain things didn't seem to be learnt as well as others and using them and enjoying them and I started wondering if my quiz, my physics quiz could be extended to work with the Quizdom system allowing it to be played by lots of students in fact your whole class at the same time so I contacted Quizdom to see if they had a software development kit and they were kind enough to let me have one so I started then working on trying to link my quiz to the Quizdom system so what are the goals of Brainbox 360 Quizdom Edition? Well I mainly wanted to provide some kind of fun mechanism for a teacher to spend time at the beginning of a lesson recapping work or possibly at the end of a lesson if that was what they preferred to do. I wanted to use the clickers to give direct feedback to students so that they would know if their answer was right or wrong. The clickers also allow you to involve all the students for each and every question that you ask. It would provide correct answers on screen to reinforce learning, both for the people who had got it right and to make the people who had got it wrong just think a little bit more carefully about what had been asked. I wanted a format that would create a low stakes competitive atmosphere with a basic leaderboard that could be anonymous if you wanted it to or could have the students names if you preferred that. I wanted to make basic use of the recall effect where the act of recalling information strengthens its level of storage in long term memory as well as the obvious opportunity to be testing and reinforcing all the prior learning that the class had been through. And I also wanted it to generate uh, results files in the Quizdom format so that you could use their powerful analysis tools. These would allow you to identify a question that, that wasn't very well answered that maybe indicated a pointer for further teaching or it would allow you to see if certain students were starting to fall behind. Now we've all at some point uh, been shown the old forgetting curve. I mean, who could forget it? It shows the idea of you learning something and how that gradually fades over time and the effect of you reviewing that learning after set periods and how the steepness of this forgetting curve is reduced by the reviewing at periodic times of the material. And while students could do this reviewing themselves, often uh, schools find it more effective to do the reviewing within the classroom context and trying to improve uh, the memory retention there. And so the idea is that classroom reviews, either at the start or the end of the lesson, will help to close the gap between what has been taught and what has actually been learnt gradually by the students. The quiz tests equations and memory of them. Numeric calculations allowing the students to send a numeric answer back to the quiz. Basic true-false questions. And things like definitions and basic recall. 
All of these can be answered using the Requisitum Clicker. There are several hundred questions of GCSE standard and the quiz also has clever routines to move the answers around and randomize them so that you cannot really learn the quiz, you have to learn the answers. And the numeric questions uh, have numbers substituted into them at runtime, so they will always come up with different numbers. Excellent. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the kind of gameplay that the game exhibits. And you can see that points are allocated on the basis of how quickly you answer as well. So I don't have any video of the Quizdom version but it looks more like this with a leaderboard and people getting onto the stage if they're at the top of the leaderboard. You can also use anonymous or made up names with it showing up in green for correct and red for wrong. And some students definitely prefer this sort of anonymity. While still enjoying the names coming up with right or wrong sound effects uh, while the game plays. So say this is the Xbox version that you're watching. The Quizdom version is definitely more lively with 24 answers coming in from students all through the posing of the question with right and wrong sound effects going off all through it. Hopefully that gives you a rough idea of what it's like. There are options for controlling what questions will be asked and I intend to extend these as time goes on and give you finer control of the questions that are going to be asked. But a teacher could also run a quiz and use print screen to snapshot questions that could then be used in conjunction with Quizdom's tools for PowerPoint to generate a custom quiz for their students. So you could drop questions into your PowerPoint slides and use Quizdom's tools to then insert them into each slide giving them the correct settings. So in this example, pressure 
and area combine to give you a force. Force is pressure times area. So we would set multiple choice, four options, and put it to C because the answer is 50 newtons. And this strategy would obviously work if you were wanting to make up a quick PowerPoint plenary or starter. Uh, recapping work, especially if the students are only part way through a topic. So a person who was used to Quizdom can combine then the visual impact of the quiz format with the tools that they're familiar with already using Action Point with their Quizdom clickers. So would you be interested in trying it then? Well, are you a physics teacher? with access to a Quizdom set. And do you want to try this out with your class? So if you are a physics teacher with a suitable Quizdom set and you want to do this with your class then take a look in the description and I'll put in there some method where you can get in touch with me and I'll get you a copy of this for free of course for you to try it and give me some feedback. And just on a final note, uh, an apology to students who might prefer to have some kind of student version of this. Uh, I realise that it is something that lots of students would be interested in, but we're just not at that stage yet, and so I need to take feedback from teachers. If you could just hit the like button in the meantime, then when the likes hit a high enough number, I'll know it's time to release a student version. So I will get round to it, just trust me. So remember that you must be a teacher, you must have a Quizdom set. It won't work properly without a Quizdom set. In fact, it'll probably crash if you don't have a Quizdom set. So only teachers with a Quizdom set, Q4, Q5, or Q6. Not Q2, because Q2 does not allow you to enter numbers, and so it won't work properly with this game. Q2s only allow individual uh, characters to be sent. So Q4 is fine, Q5s are fine, Q6s are fine. And as I say, you must be a teacher. Sorry about that, and thanks for watching.